This look has a lot going on, it has pinks, it has bright colors, and an underwing. So if you want to know how I do it, just keep watching. Oh, and please ignore my messy background. I'm starting with the base. This is NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I actually just depotted it, but I just, I'm just i brushing it all over my eyelid to create a really good base. This is really helpful for any kind of bright colors you have. It's just going to make any color you put on top just pop and stay true to the color. This is a pigment from Coastal Scents. It's called Cellini Yellow. Um, spraying my brush with just, you can spray it with water. I just didn't have it on me. Actually, just a setting spray. Pick up the pigment with your brush and tap off the excess. And then just pat it very lightly onto your eyelid. Make sure that you don't do it, um, that you don't brush it too much. Make sure you just try to pat it and um, use, you do small strokes. I just use a face powder that's darker than mine as a contour just to slightly give me a little bit more definition. This highlight color is from MAC. It's called Nylon. I'm brushing that with the same brush on my brow bone and uh, just to kind of give a little bit of a completed look. This is a pencil from um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. It's called Flipside. Um, I actually wanted to use a different one and it's by Milani. I don't know the number because it's all sharpened down, but it's a really good duplicate if you don't have the Urban Decay one. The Milani ones are about $4 or so, but um, those you can get at Walgreens. So just brush it on your inner waterline and your underneath your eye. Now using this color called Electric Eel, use a thin brush and just kind of set that liner on top. And it's going to make that blue color just pop a little bit more with that base that you put underneath. These are some eyelashes that I cut and I use, always just keep the ends because I like to just put ends sometimes. Um, using a clear glue, just glue the ends onto your lashes. I'm taking that same pigment and just putting a little bit more on top because I lost a little bit, bit of the color as I blended onto the contour of my eye. And just make sure you blend just the edge. And of course, brush your eyebrows before you do them. Make sure that you know exactly where you want to fill them in. I just have to fill them in underneath uh, at the beginning part of my brow at the base. And you'll see exactly. I only actually just fill in that area. And I use Define a Brow by Maybelline. And this is in uh, medium dark. I'm using a setting powder just to set my face a little bit. And this is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in, I think it's deep dark. I'll write it below. Now I'm using a concealer that's a little bit light. For me, it's Studio Sculpts Concealer in NC35. And then just brushing that underneath. This is always a really good tip to use. If you use your eyeliner and just make that really sharp line on the edge, you can always correct any mistakes that you made and make the line and the edge of the liner that you did much sharper. I always do it whenever I mess up a little bit. Now I'm using Gingerly by MAC as my contour and blush all together. As my highlight on my face, I'm using this Bare Minerals uh, powder. It's a veil that they, it was a limited edition um, sale that they had, and it's just a nice little, uh, it's very subtle, so it's kind of nice to just to put on top of your um, cheekbones and on the nose and a little bit on the forehead. 
The only thing I'm using on my lips is a lip glass from MAC called Pink Nouveau. It actually gives really good pigmentation, so you can pretty much just be set with this the whole night. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to try it at home and see what works out for you. If you have any other recommendations or uh, requests, please send them to me either on my Facebook or my YouTube. Bye!